Salutations everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of my C4 tutorial, we'll go over the map Bakara. As you may know, this is a pretty large map, so it doesn't really lend itself to high explosives such as the C4, but as you know, I always use C4, so there are a couple of spots uh, that I use in this map uh, from time to time, uh, that'll help you out. Uh, first off, we got the uh, yellow building, which is probably the third most camp spot on this map. Um, it can be uh, really annoying, it's got a really uh, good view over the majority of the map, which is uh, over those balconies, or the you're coming spawning through right here. So the best way I suggest to take someone out of the yellow building is to come right across the uh, the building side and uh, chuck it through the window, and that'll get you, you know, the kills in anyone in that vicinity. Uh, next we have probably the most camped uh, building in uh, this map. Uh, this little uh, this little two story right here, and uh, I hit this one all the time because you're always going to see someone camping up here with a sniper or a Type 95, and you know just chuck it through that window. That's not always going to get him because sometimes it's going to be camping much deeper uh, into the building, so you're going to have to get more creative and to throw it uh, through the doorway, or you know you're going to be forced to rush up there, which is really dangerous because there's always someone camping with a Type 95 or a Kimbo SMGs. Next, I'm going to show you a C4 save on A flag. You just toss it over these crates or over this wall. Uh, depends which way you're coming from. But it doesn't matter if they're hiding in this corner or they're up hiding in this corner. It's the C4 is going to take out anyone within the capture radius uh, much better than you know your gun ever would because they could take it by surprise. Next, I'm going to show you a B flag save, which is real easy since we have this nice little truck right here that's just begging to be exploded. Um, so, you know, coming from this way is really dangerous because usually they'll be lying prone or, uh, you know, camping behind something and waiting for you to come through that side. I suggest to come through this way and uh, chuck it over this box right here. And if the C4 won't get them, the car definitely will. Um, if the car is already blown up, then you can have to, you know, be a little more accurate. But I just wanted to show, you know, you don't have to be perfect on that spot. The car will help you out. Uh, and that's going to show you the uh, the C flag right here. A lot of people love camping the C flag or head glitch in that uh, pile of trash on any game mode. So the best way to take him out uh, from the C flag is you know tossing the C4 over this fence. It is a uh, really the best way to take out anyone because they're going to be head glitching. If you come from this way, they're going to get you. I suggest uh, coming through the building. Um, through uh, you know the back entrance and then come through this doorway chuck it over the fence and that's gonna get them the safe, safest easiest and fastest way to kill someone next we have probably the uh, last but not least the uh, second most camp building in the game they have a real good line of view they're gonna be camping on either this close balcony or the one in the back so come out from this way that you know they're gonna snipe you or type 95 you so I suggest coming from the back way uh, behind this building and toss your C4 to this side of the balcony and that's going to get him. Or if they're camping in the other balcony, you can just run through the doorway here and then toss your C4 and get him up there. Uh, so that's it for Bakra. Not a lot of spots because this map really doesn't, uh, it's really small. But, you know, there's a couple of spots that I do use uh, all the time. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.